Well, my name's Kyer Weber, and um, I my diagnosis. I've had several diagnoses. Um, I've suffered with post-traumatic stress disorder, and um, I have a dissociative disorder, and I've struggled with depression. And in the past, I've also struggled with substance abuse and an eating disorder. Um, my first lines were back in 1990. I was going to BCIT full-time, and um, I started to just kind of fall apart and not be able to really function. Um, I couldn't, I couldn't really study. I started to, or I, st I stopped going to some classes. Um, and I found that I was becoming more and more anxious. Um, my thoughts, I couldn't keep my thoughts straight. Um, I became more and more emotional. And I just gradually just kept falling apart more and more and just not functioning very well until I actually had to quit school because I, I couldn't carry on. Well, I did a lot of intensive uh, psychotherapy uh, or psychoanalysis, I'm not sure which you call it, but I worked with a psychiatrist for many, many years. Um, and with her, um, I tried some alternative therapy. She was very supportive in that. And um, I tried a bit of drama therapy where I was before a camera and got to try on different costumes and uh, played sort of different roles, which was really fun. Um, I did some art therapy with a student doing her practicum, um, which was extremely helpful, uh, particularly with the PTSD, the post-traumatic stress, um, which was related to childhood trauma. And so the art therapy was really helpful. And I did dance therapy. I did a nine-month program. Um, and I, did a lot, I went to a lot of support groups that were geared towards education and support around uh, sexual abuse as a child. I found all of those things quite helpful. Um, my psychiatrist was amazing. Um, she was so supportive and so understanding and really validated all my experiences. And um, I actually, I, I lost her uh, about seven years ago where she closed her practice. And I was at a loss and then uh, found out about uh, MDA and the support groups and uh, started coming to the support group. And I've been becoming, I've been coming now for five years and have found it immensely helpful. Um, you know, and for a while I decided I didn't even need a therapist anymore because uh, coming to the support group was enough for me. Um, but eventually I did find a therapist because I, I needed somebody again and stuff, but I've continued to come to the support group. But just knowing other people and even knowing, meeting other people who have other uh, mental illnesses, um, you know, I've learned so much. Uh, about being with them and just being accepted for who I am and my own unique um, conditions and diagnoses um, has really helped a lot. Um, I'm not an emotional mess anymore like I was before. I'm, uh, my moods were, you know, very up and down and all over the place and now my moods are very stable and I can function again. I, I volunteer a lot at MDA and uh, I probably am doing more than, than I probably have ever done in my life and, and I'm able to do. And um, yeah, I just have generally a, a better life now where I'm, I'm happier about the things I'm doing. Excellent. And that's it.